All right, so we got a bunch of stuff that we're gonna review today. Oh yes, a new lamp. I got a lamp. Not sure how exciting it is, but here it is. And now we're gonna go take a look. I'm just gonna set up. It takes me a minute to get everything ready. Oh yes, dark, dark in here. I hope that's centered. I don't even know if that's centered or not. Is it centered? Centered enough. Centered enough. So we are talking about this little light because I wanted a light for the bedroom and I could go just spend, you know, 20, 25 bucks on a little lamp that I could have, but I figured I'd get something a little cooler for you guys so you could take a look and see if it was something that you're like, yeah, I'd like that or I'd be interested or whatever whatever floats your boat, but I needed a light, so I went with this one. And as a side note, the, I'm gonna say this probably wrong, Legal, Leg, Legly, I don't know, is a brand that I actually used previously for one of my little ring lights that I have here in the studio. And it's been working like a champ so far, so why would I expect any different from their products that this one would also be good? Yeah, I think I said that right. I think this will be good because my ring light is good. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at that right now. Man, that was kind of botched, I think. So this is the light that I got right here on Amazon. The Lego, Lego, eight watt LED table desk lamp with LCD screen. Uh, USB charging ports, three lighting modes, five level dimmer, touch control, built-in clock, seemed to be kind of everything that I wanted. And my hope is, and I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna work, so the hope is that this is either gonna go in the bedroom, and that'll depend really on how bright that little screen is and if I can dim that screen or not, or it may go into the office room, which is where my desktop computer and all that is kind of sitting and I could have it there for a little extra light because weirdly enough, that room doesn't have much light in it except for window light. And it would be nice to have a little table lamp. Here it is, this is the box. Lego LED touch lamp. Now I'll spin it this way, hopefully you guys can see it. Energy saving, five step dimmable, three color temperature options. As you can see on the image here, it does have a little LCD screen on it. So that seems kind of cool. And on the back, I do like the fact that it has a different color temperatures, really nice. All this is kind of pivotable, so you can slide it back and forth. Or maybe you're someone that thinks, maybe I would like to do some review videos, but I don't have a top down light and you have one of these. This may be actually pretty cool. You may even be able to kind of get it off to the side and slant it over. I'm just saying, maybe that's something, I don't know. Let's see what's in the box. Hopefully I don't have to put this together because I'm not a fan of putting stuff together. So you do get a little manual main function, operation instructions, operation guidance, operation guide. Big, that's what I like, warranty card, just so you guys know. From the purchase date, the user enjoys a free one year maintenance service under normal use. For more than one year, it will be charged according to the component per cost. Yeah, that makes sense. But now you guys know, that's the kind of warranty it comes with. You do get a little wall adapter, seems small. Here, I'm guessing, is the light. And that's that's it, that's, that's what's in the box. So I'm gonna put this stuff down there. And this this is kind of it. So it folds up really nice. You guys can see how small of a package it comes in here. I like the fact that it folds down like that. Wrapped really nice. Oh, see, you open it like that to get this off. Oh, I think this is gonna be nice, I think. I think so. All going in the garbage. That's kind of right in front of me. I think that's nice looking. That on a desk? in the office especially if you had an office that you were in front of people you guys hopefully can see that. i'll put it down this way just so you guys can see a little bit that's kind of the size hopefully it fits in there this arm bends as well as this piece bends so sitting up here on the table i'll just hold it you know you can lean it really forward bend it down bend it straight get it right up like this super flexible that's really quite nice actually I think it's it's nice looking. At the at the I'll just lift this back up like this. Here you'll see I'm guessing this is mode power 
and then your different brightness. Everything is touch up here. Oh, there's another sticker I missed. Make sure that comes off. That is where your display is. Now, it is kind of like a piano black. So my guess is it's gonna be a fingerprint magnet. So lucky for me and you guys, I guess, I do have one of these. So just kind of polish that up. Again, this is probably gonna go in the bedroom. So does it need a lot of polishing? No. The other thing to realize too, and I'm just gonna flip this over, there is this. So you can see here, this does take a battery. And I may have my handy hammer because I'm just gonna smack, no, that's not right. I'm gonna, it has a little screwdriver deal in it. So take that out. And let's just see, spin, maybe. Yep, popped right out. But I didn't realize that this also had a battery in it. This goes in kind of one way. Oh, you can hear it. Not even sure what that was. Odd, but neat, I guess. All right, so battery is functioning, I guess. I guess maybe the battery is for the screen, maybe? Weird that it made a sound like that. Maybe it's to keep things like your time and stuff like that when it's not actually plugged in. That may, that may actually be what it's for. Now, the other thing, of course, is that this comes with a power plug. And on the back, just so you guys can see it, there is that ability to have a charger plugged in. So you can actually plug something into this lamp to give it some extra juice. I'm gonna plug this in. Cable-wise, you're looking at about, I'd say six feet. All right, we are powered. Ready to rock and roll. You guys can see that in camera, this guy over here. Let's plug it in. Oh yes, see, right off the bat, little screen shows up. See that, right there? That's gonna have, oh, that's kinda neat. It actually has the temperature, time, month and date. Now I'm gonna set all that up, but that's handy. So 24 degrees in here it is not 1202, just so you guys know, nor is it January 1st. Read the instructions, you can figure out how to set that time. First thing to be aware of, ah, this may limit it from being in the bedroom. I'm not sure how bright that's gonna be. It may look like it's fairly bright because I don't think yeah, that we can do much with it. So I'm gonna hit the power button here. We'll just move this over here. It's gonna get bright, I'm sure. Power button, and there's your light. Ooh, sorry guys, right in the screen. Bring that down a bit. There it is, I'll look underneath the light. You do have the ability to so you bring it down. Oh, see, that's nice when it's down. It's actually a nice dim, right? So that's at lowest and then crank it up five levels. Oh, that's actually quite nice. And then this mode changes the color temperature. So there's your blue, there's your kind of mixture, and then there's your yellow. So you want that cool light, crank it up. I think it's up all the way. Bring it down. Yeah, that's handy. And I like the fact that this can go like straight up if you want, or you can just bring this all the way down. Just kind of focus it right down here on something. That's, and again, like here, for instance, I could be like, oh yeah, it's in shot. Let's just bring it out of shot, but tip that down. Needed a little bit more of a bluish light. So we'll tone that down a bit. Oh, let's bring it into a all purpose light. Yeah, that's all right. And I can tell you right now, it's actually 25 degrees in this room. It's heating up. Yes, it is heating up. All right, guys, one USB port, one USB port, three lighting modes. So that's at three different colors and five levels of intensity of the light. Plus everything is like a touch, which is kind of cool. And it has a little tiny battery in it for like, retaining all your settings. And it has a thermostat, little added bonus. Again, I'm gonna try it tonight in the bedroom to see what I think. I'll leave a comment down below, just so you guys know if I thought the light was too bright for the bedroom and or if I moved it or ended up shifting it into the office. I kinda of have a feeling it's probably gonna go in the office because when this is off, I don't know how bright that is. It's not crazy bright, but it might be bright enough that it, hurts the old sleep routine and hey, I need my sleep. Oh yes. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. Lego, eight watt LED table lamp. Yeah, 48 bucks. Cool, nicely built. Again, I, I wish they didn't go advertising this. Put it on the bottom or 
somewhere else, but whatever. I guess they're advertising their stuff. Link down below if you guys are interested in picking one of these up because you need a light, I guess. And that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Hit the bell, leave posts down there. It's always cool talking to you. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Another video. What's it going to be on? I don't know. We'll find out. Later, guys. All right, so I'm back really quick, just an end piece, because there's a couple things that I have found out since I've been using this for the last just half an hour or so, and I just wanted to show them to you before the video ended, which kind of important. So number one, I'm just gonna bring this up here real quick. Uh, just on the back here, I didn't show this, but on the back there's like a, what is it? Mode set up and down, and this is where you're gonna go in and set like the clock and your date and, all kinds of settings for the display. So kind of important to go in there, but super easy to, to manage. It also has an alarm clock, which is useful because if we want to use this again in the bedroom, at the beginning, there was that little sound. Yeah, so it has a tiny little speaker. Super useful. I don't know, because I, I don't know how loud it would get. I don't think it's going to be crazy loud, but it's something. So that's, that's okay. The other thing, just again to show you this, is that power button right there. Just see the display. If you tap on it, of course, it turns the light on and off. We got it. But there's that display lit. If you hold down the power button, ready? Just hold it down. It turns the display off. And if you hold it back again, display on. So that's huge. This is gonna end up in the bedroom because, well I can now, because that display I can just turn off. So that's a big win. Wanted to make sure I showed you that before the video ended. All right guys, we'll see you next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Later.